Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today, I'm going to show you how to georeference your JPEG or PDF document into your QGIS project. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So I'm using an OpenStreetMap as my base map, and if you don't know how to get that, I'll put a link in the description down below on a video I did not too long ago. Essentially, if you go to the top to Plugins, Manage Install Plugins, and you type in Quick Map Services, you'll come up with this plugin. And the map I want to georeference is this. This is a JPEG of downtown Breckenridge, Colorado. I got this map from the Library of Congress, and I'll leave a link in the description down below. These are the old Sanborn fire insurance maps. So what they did is basically they drew out parcels and they included um, different shops and hotels and, and all the other amenities that they had at that time. So let me just close out of that. So to begin the georeference process, First of all, I want to zoom into Breckenridge. Either I can zoom in or I'm using this plugin, the OSM Place Search. And this zooms right in there for me. Okay, so this is roughly the area that I'm going to georeference. So to add that layer, we are going to go to Layer, Georeferencer, and we will click on to open raster, this first icon, and select our raster. So if your cursor is not, uh, that looks like this little plus sign, you could click right here where it says add point, and then it'll change. So what I'm doing here is on my mouse, I'm zooming in and out, trying to find a natural boundary we have Main Street here, and we have Lincoln Avenue. So a corner like this would be perfect. So Main Street and Lincoln, I'm going to do the north, the north, excuse me, I'm going to do the southwest side of Lincoln and Main. So I'll click once here. It's asking for coordinates, but I'm going to use the map canvas. Instead, I'm just going to click right onto the map canvas to get my ground control point. So I'll click that. And I said it was the southwest side of Lincoln and Maine. So I'll zoom in here on my map. And I'll click right here. So I have a, a new ground control point. I'll click OK. Let's select another one. We'll just kind of go like in a rectangle clockwise. So I will do, so this is Lincoln and French Street. So southeast corner, southeast corner of French and Main. I'll click here. I want it for the map canvas. Southeast of French and Main. Excuse me. Lincoln and French, good grief. Southeast Lincoln and French, right here. Say OK. All right, so we have these two points. So let's go further south and let's do this is Adams in French. Let's do the, the northeast of Adams in French. So northeast of Adams in French. Adams, French northeast Adams French northeast right here and I'll say okay to that and let's make one more control point see I did this one up here on Maine so let's do north west of Adams in Maine right here for a map canvas northwest Adams in Maine That'd be right here. Yeah. So I'll click onto that. And I will say OK. This button here, little gear, um, 
you could click onto this to change some of the settings. The transformation type is defaulted to linear. Now these transfer transformation types are different algorithms that, um, it, depending on what kind of input data you have, um, you know, it's going to generate some sort of distortion. So I'll leave a link in the description down below uh, to some information directly from QGIS that will explain it a lot better than I will. But I found in my particular example that polynomial one, that algorithm seems to work. You could change the projection. I'm just going to use my current maps projection, but by all means, you could change that as well. Your output file, I'm just going to change the name there. Resampling method, I am leaving the default as well as loading the project when it's done. You could click this to save the ground control points, GCP, if you'd like. If I hit, click OK, it's going to ask me where I want to save that. I don't really don't want to do that at this point. But by all means, if you guys have a larger project and want to save those and load them later, this is a, a great option right here. You can also generate a PDF report in the map if you'd like to. Play around with that. I definitely encourage that. But I am satisfied with what I have selected, so I'm going to click OK. And I will click on this green start button that says start georeferencing and it was complete so i'll close out of this diagonal box i don't want to save the crown control points so i'll click discard now this map was created in the early 1900s so things are not going to line up perfectly obviously things have changed up in breckenridge since 1900 um, but what I'll do here is I'll we'll adjust the transparency just down a bit so you guys could see the difference. So we got Lincoln Avenue and Maine and Washington. And you could also add you know an aerial imagery if you like. And if you remove this layer here, you could also add you could add that geo referenced image right here back into your map. Let's place it right there and it's geo-referenced. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. It's just a very quick and easy way to geo-reference either like a JPEG or a PDF map into your QGIS project. And if you guys have any questions, by all means, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.